What's up guys, welcome back in business. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you 100 days of pure dedication, discipline, diet, exercise, 100 days of the One Punch Man workout. If there's one thing that I learned in the last few years, it's that if your body is not doing well, your mind will follow. And as you can see, my current shape is definitely not the best. I ripped my shoulder last year and then I completely fell off in terms of exercise and diet. And that's why I'm here to get back on track. Now the One Punch Man is the main character of an anime and he became a superhero by following a simple but intense exercise plan. 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats and a 10 kilometer run which is around 6.2 miles every single day. Now my goal is to train like the One Punch Man for at least 3 weeks straight. So here's the plan. To minimize my risk of injury, I'm gonna start training three days a week, five kilometers, 50 reps, push-ups, sit-ups, squats, and then I'm gonna slowly increase, and by week 12, I will reach seven days a week of training. With, of course, the 100 reps of push-ups, sit-ups, and squats. So then the real deal starts, and I'm gonna try to hold this intensity for at least three weeks until day 100. My diet will be low carb, high protein, and I'll be supplementing with a little bit of creatine and protein. And in case I have absolutely zero energy, I will try this pre-workout boost I just bought. My current weight is 193 pounds at 26.3% body fat, if I can believe my not so accurate scale. Now enough talking, let's get into the workout. Day number one guys, I just finished my first workout. I started with some mobility exercises because I don't want to get hurt. Then I jumped into the squats and then afterwards into the sit-ups, then the push-ups and then went for the five kilometer run, which was to be honest, the hardest part. First day so far, quite okay. I know it's not perfect, but I will try to improve along the way. So here we are guys, day number 10. I'm currently training three days a week at six kilometers and 60 reps. My body is feeling quite all right. It's getting more energetic, but it also tells me, be careful, don't hurt yourself, get enough rest and stick to your diet. Because that's not so easy for me, but here's a quick what I eat in a day for you guys. So I usually start the day off with some oatmeal, some berries and a few nuts, maybe a bit cocoa powder without sugar and a little bit of cinnamon on top. That's a nice breakfast. Then immediately after training, I usually train in the morning, I get myself a protein shake. Around 2 p.m. I will have lunch, usually some chopped bell peppers, throw them in the pan as well as some tofu or some other source of protein like fish or chicken. And I might add some fish sauce and a little bit of hot sauce because I like Asian food. And then one or two hours before I go to bed, I grab myself some core cheese or quark, I don't know how you guys say that over there, add some cucumber, some tomatoes, some nuts, a little spice, and that's it. So anyways, guys, enough about the food. Let's keep moving. Day 20, guys, we're there. Only 80 more days to go. But honestly, we're making good progress. The diet is going all right. The training, especially the reps, getting easier. But the running right now, where I have a heat wave in my city, it's twice as hard. Back with another update for you guys. We just finished week number four and I could tell you this week so far was the hardest, not because of the exercise, but because of some pain, which I developed in my left leg. So I had to go to the doctor and he told me shin splint syndrome. If you're not familiar with that, that basically means you have to take a break and I had to get new shoes. Now, obviously I didn't want to take a break because of this challenge, I took the risk I bought shoes with pronation. Thank God everything was fine. I could run. I just finished my nine kilometer run today. And by the way, get your shoes ready. If you're starting to run, those were my old shoes here and they are so hard. 
and I, I can just throw them away. And we did it guys, day number 36, the first day of 10 kilometers and 100 reps. And to be honest, I'm not too exhausted, but to be fair, the last two days I had rest days and today I took the booster to get myself a little bit hyped. And yeah, now it's the plan to hold this level for at least three weeks and then slowly move on to four days a week, then five days a week and then six, seven days until day 100. So I see you guys at the next update and wish me luck. Day number 57 guys, another update for you. I hope you're doing well. I'm pretty much doing okay. Already lost around six kilos right now. So the progression is definitely there. Today is actually the first day of the week where I train four times a week with a full intensity of 10 kilometers and 100 reps. So it's going to be hard and we're gonna work our way up to seven days a week full one punch man workout intensity. By the way, I'm also making a picture every day. So hopefully in the end, we have a nice time lapse of my progression from fat and useless to hopefully lean and muscular. So I'm gonna keep you guys posted. Wish me luck and I see you with the next update. Day number 77 guys, my last free day before three weeks of absolute destruction, full workout intensity. Yesterday I went to a wedding party and I admit I had a couple slices of cake to recharge. Okay guys, not too much. I'm still progressing in terms of weight and body fat. So I'm really looking forward to present you guys my results and I see you at day 100 with my final form. <laughs> Day 100 guys, we're literally there. Feels like my birthday to be honest. I can't believe we finally made it through. Now I'm gonna show you the form, of course. And first I'm gonna show you the time lapse of my back, then of my front side. And then of course I'm gonna tell you the weight and body fat. So enough talking, here you have it. And that is my final form, guys. What do you think? I think it's honestly surprising what a simple workout like this paired with the right diet can achieve. Speaking of diet, we lost around 13 kilos, which is around 28 pounds and are now at 74 kilograms. That's quite a lot. And I really just come to realize this as I'm seeing the progress in the time lapse and now making a video of myself. The body fat also went down by 8% to 18.4. And here's a little graph that shows the whole progress. And honestly, this challenge really inspired me because it's a great way to motivate yourself if you do a video, if you do pictures every day. So I can highly recommend this to everyone. And it's definitely not gonna be the last one. I'm planning a weight gain challenge here on this channel for the next year. So if you wanna stay updated on this one, you know what to do guys. And other than that, I'm gonna grab myself a huge piece of cake right now. 
just gonna enjoy a couple of days full of cheating and not doing any running or push-ups, squats, sit-ups. I hope this could inspire you a bit and I see you in the next video.